Hi. Hi. She's very friendly. <laughs> I like your carrier. It seems so comfy. Thank you. You've got extra big paws in there, I noticed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in all four. Did I notice the nice big paws? In yeah. all four. She has all four, really? Yeah. yeah. She's uncomfortable up here, um, which makes me believe more that it's an upper respiratory infection. Sorry. I feel like she likes it to be here, yeah. or I don't know. But see how when I put, like most, they don't usually, it doesn't irritate them, which supports the idea that it's more, more upper airway. Mm -hmm. And how long has it been going on for now? Just over a week or so? Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I don't know if I would, because if we give her a butorphanol, which we would have to at least, and give her some sedation, if she's got herpes virus that she's dealing with, then it might be more likely to exacerbate the issue because you're actually then like you're challenging their immune system with the drugs mm -hmm. um, and the recovery. So mm -hmm. <laughs> also like this. Yeah, but I would still, I would recommend monitoring because upper respiratory infections just get, it's like us in a cold, like we could do a whole bunch of things, but it's gonna get better anyway. Mm -hmm. And the other issue is that with asthma, x-rays can look, sometimes they look very obvious, and mm -hmm. in other cases they look normal, but they still have underlying asthma. Yeah. So we could take x-rays and it looks normal and it doesn't rule out asthma. It would only be if there's evidence of asthma on the x-rays. Yeah. Um, but I just the fact that she's sensitive here makes me think it's more just upper airway, and I would I would give especially if she's getting like it's getting less frequent, then I would just give her a bit of time. Mm 